Hello YouTube, this is Nuclear DJ Games and today I have a special review video for you. This is an in-depth review of the UK version of the PS4 Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition. So in this video we're going to be reviewing all the contents in this box including the helmet and all the other little goodies included. So one thing I noticed when I first got the box was the writing on all the sides. I really like how Bethesda have printed this on the box. It makes it feel more special and obviously add some sort of roleplay element to it. They've also added a description of the game and then all the goodies included beneath. So we've got the game itself and then the helmet with the West Tech carrying bag, glow in the dark map, the tri sentinel bonus, 24 collectible figurines from the wasteland and then finally the steel case which the game comes in. So on the right we also have an image of the contents of the box as well as you can see and many of you will have seen the images before either on the internet or on YouTube. So on one of the sides of the box, it's got a description of the T-51B power helmet. And I think this is really good that Bethesda have added it. Definitely adds to the effect of the helmet. And a bit like how you would see in game with a lot of descriptions of the different things you find in the wasteland. So when you first open the box, you have the instructions. And as you can see, there are the figurines. So everything's protected by polystyrene, which is good to see. So we're just going to take a look at the instructions first. And this basically just tells you how to use the power helmet. So the instructions are really simple. And there's also different languages just for people that buy it from other parts of the world. So on this side, we've got all the different languages as well. And then... Under the instructions, there's the Tri Sentinel Steel Case, Figurines, and the Full Terrain Map. So, the first thing we're going to look at is the Tri Sentinel Steel Case, which has the game in it. So, one thing I would like to say is how good it looks. I really like the design of the Vault Tech mascot and the American theme for the Tri Sentinel version. So obviously we've got the disc and then we've got the Fallout Tri-Sentinel code for PS4 which is really easy to unlock. So here's the map and it's wrapped in plastic. So we're just going to take this off and open it up as well. So this does actually glow in the dark. Although I didn't test it in this video, it does work and it's better if you don't point a torch at it like I did. However, I really like the map. It's really well detailed and it's kind of embossed. So that makes it feel like it's the real thing. So obviously this is the Fallout 76 online map and I'll definitely be putting this up on my wall at some point. I really like that they've added this in the Power Edition and it definitely makes it feel worth having as well. So we've just got a full layout here. And so the next thing we're going to look at are the figurines. So they come in this bag and it's got a little you will merge signed with some Vault-Tec writing on it as well. So it actually comes in a Ziploc bag. I was expecting a sort of plastic disposable one but it's good they've added this. So we've got all kinds of figurines. I'm not sure of the exact names of all of them but I'm sure you'll recognise some of them. The ones I do know are the Brotherhood of Steel, as you can see. So it's usually around two to three of each. And I do think they're really good. The plastic quality is really good as well. They definitely feel like they've been made of very high quality. So we've got some Super Mutants here, some Mr. Handies, and then some Protectrons. And then we've also got some Vault 76 Dwellers. So as you can see, they're kind of styled like the plastic soldier toys that you can buy with the base plates, the very cheap ones. And I think it's really nice that Bethesda have added these to the Power Edition as well. I will be probably displaying these 
on the shelf or something similar to that as well. So now we'll be moving on to the other contents in the box. So as you can see, we've actually got the T51B helmet here and that's enclosed in the polystyrene, mainly to protect it, but I think that's a good thing that Bethesda has done. So here are the batteries for the power helmet and I imagine they are used for the voice and lighting. We've also got the silica gel for the bag, which we're about to move on to now. So this is the West Tech bag used for carrying the power armor helmet. And we're just gonna open up the packaging. As you can see, it says West Tech Warfare fully powered on the side. So when you open up the plastic, the quality of the bag isn't amazing, but I do really like this bag. And I'm glad that they've also added this as well. So one of the features it has is a zip, which allows you to take the helmet on the go. I imagine this will be good for people that cosplay and so on. So as you can see, the inside of the bag is really big and this will definitely fit the helmet in there, no worries. So we're gonna put the helmet in there next. So as you can see, the helmet is now in there. And the bag isn't fully closed over, so don't worry that it doesn't look like it will fit. So now we're just going to pull that fully over. And then we're going to zip up the full bag. So as you can see, going all the way around, it covers the helmet completely as a bag would. And then it's also got these handles as well, which make it easy to carry. And you can pretty much choose which side you want to have the helmet round. I imagine it'll be best to have the base of the helmet at the bottom, even though that might deform the shape of the bag a bit. I had mine sideways personally. So right now, as you can see, here is the Fallout 76 T51B helmet. And we're now going to go through all the features of the helmet, including voice modulation, the helmet's light, the VAT sound, and also some of the main design features Bethesda have used for this. So the first thing I'd like to say, the quality of the helmet is really good. Although it's mainly plastic, I really like it. Some of the materials used for the tubing and wiring are also really good. And I think the helmet looks good from any angle. Originally, I preferred the T60 armor to the T51B armor, but actually seeing the helmet in real life, I guess, kind of persuades me more towards this variant. And I guess it's the area ver variant as well, sorry. So as you can see, we've just got some tubing and then a wire, which is, I guess, for breathing and keeps the wearer protected from the wasteland. So one thing I really like is all the welding lines, the general wear and tear of the helmet, and the kind of mispatches of the spray. It makes it look like the helmet's been through some battle damage and overall just adds to the effect of the helmet. So one of the features the helmet has is a range finder and it actually does move up and down. So I will be showing you that after. The first thing we're going to go through is adding battery to the helmet. So as you can see, it says to put them inside. So here is the bottom of the helmet and this black cloth goes around your neck. We've also got a headband in there. And as you can see, there's the visor, which you can actually see through. So at first I couldn't find the battery cover, but I realized that it's right behind the mouthpiece. As you can see, we've got some wiring in there as well which obviously connects it all together. So all you simply do is put your finger in there and pull out this plastic hatch to put the batteries in. And then once that's pulled out, it's simply like any other thing you would buy. You just put the batteries in and then you switch on the power switch as well. So that's now done and the helmet is now powered on. So I'm just gonna test the main light on the helmet. 
So as you can see, we have some buttons on the side and they're also very clever in the way that they've kind of added that into the helmet unnoticeably. So as you can see, the light is turned on and it does look really good. I wasn't actually expecting a bright light. It's quite bright, I would say. It's not too bright like an LED or anything. It's just enough to get an effect of it. So it also looks quite good turned off as well. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is the rangefinder. So that moves from the down position into the up. And then obviously there's in-betweens. And on this side, both of the buttons work. So one's used for the VAT sound and the other is used for voice modulation. So right now we're just going to test out the VAT sound on the helmet. So I think the sound of that is really good and it definitely sounds like the in-game sound. So I'm glad they added that as one of the features of the helmet. One of the other things we're going to test later on is voice modulation. But here's just the sound of when you actually turn it on and off. So that sounds a bit like a radio in-game. Quite like the Enclave voices from the Fallout games. So the next thing we're actually going to do is put the helmet on. As you can see, my shoulders are at the bottom and the helmet is really big. We're going to test all the sounds. And there's a rangefinder back down again. So the first thing we're going to test is the light first and then the VAT sound and then voice modulation. So there we turned it off again. And here's the VAT sound. So next is the voice modulation. Patrolling the Mahari almost makes you wish for an arrow through the knee. So as you can see, I used kind of a Fallout slash Skyrim meme just to record my voice in. You can hear my voice over the mic, so that isn't the best thing in the world, but I'm sure that it doesn't matter too much. I'm really glad they added a voice modulation feature in there. So I hope you found this review helpful, and I hope you do enjoy your own Power Armor edition of Fallout 76. So far, I've really enjoyed the beta, and I'm definitely looking forward to getting into it properly with the PS4 edition. I'm also looking forward to using some of the Tri-Sentinel bonuses in game as well. So I think the Power Armor edition is really good. I definitely love the helmet, the figurines and the map and also the bag as well. I think they're all a very cool thing to have and in terms of relation to the Pip-Boy they released I think the helmet is more worth it and obviously it works rather than the pit boy which doesn't actually have any features except an ejecting holotape. So really I would definitely recommend buying the helmet. As I said I hope you find this review helpful. Please do check out some of my other videos. I've got some Fallout 76 beta gameplay on my channel at the moment. And do check out my playlists and I'll see you in the next video.